What's going on everyone? What you're going to see today uh, is an M98B round which I do really well in in Operation Metro. And yes, I know a lot of you complain that I don't that I use the M98B a lot too much. And I know a lot of you complain that I always play in Operation Metro sniping, which I get. I do use those two, the level and the gun in combination quite a bit. But it's because I enjoy them so much. And yes, I do listen to you guys because I do go into different levels. But these, these two in unison I just seem to do so good with so much. And it never gets tiring to me personally. Uh, for most of you it doesn't. For some of you it does. I get it. Uh, but hey, Battlefield 4 will be coming out in less than a month. So I hope you at least put up with the fact that it is something you've seen several different times over. But it's still pretty entertaining. Uh, so that being said, on that topic of Battlefield 4 coming out in a month, which will basically be taking over my channel full time as you might expect. Um... I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 4 Recon today. I'm going to be talking about all sorts of stuff that I found on a recent website, which if I forget to include it in the description, someone remind me so I can put it in the description for you guys to look at. Uh, now, I'm not sure if it's 100% correct. I'm not sure if they're 100% guaranteed fact. But from what I've seen, they look pretty accurate, and I will be going over them today, talking about Battlefield 4 Recon. Re uh, recon and bolt action sniper rifles with Battlefield 3 gameplay. Alright, off we go. With this, uh, I'll list the sniper, the bolt action sniper rifles here for the most part. There are the 338 Recon, uh, the CS LR4, the FYJS, the JNG90, the M4OA5, the M98B, the Scout Elite, the SRR61, and the SV98. That's the, that's, as far as this list goes, if it's fully accurate, the bolt actions that will be in Battlefield 4. Now, they list them in terms of damage, accuracy, mobility, range, handling, uh, fire modes, which obviously are going to be single for all of them, rate of fire, they're all bolt actions, magazine size, and ammo type. Uh, and from at least looking at the chart here, they're all pretty much similar. So it, it would be sort of like what Battlefield 3's was, where the L96, the M4A5, uh, and the M98B, they're all not very much different inside of two, 300 meters. They're not. Let's be realistic here. Uh, that's why anyone can interchange, a good recon player can interchange between the guns no problem and not really suffer a setback. It's after that range the bullet drop and the damage starts to become noticeable. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. The reload time and uh, being able to cycle through the bolt quick enough is, you know, give or take a little bit slower on the two. Or depending, or a bit faster or slower depending on the rifle. But they're not, it's not a huge detriment. There is little difference, let's put it that way. Uh... But looking at the list here, and from what I've seen at least so far, assuming this list is accurate, there isn't much of a change to Battlefield 4 either. Uh, the damage and accuracy are pretty much, they look very similar. Um, a couple of these guns fire like 5.8 rounds and 5.56 NATO rounds, so as you might expect, the mobility or, or the range and the damage are a bit lower on these because they're lower caliber rounds. That being said, with the M90AB and this gun, which I really want to try here, the SRR61, uh, they fire the much higher rounds of the 408 and the 338 Magnum. So does the 338 Recon, as you might expect. Uh, but I would like to try those three out the most. The M90AB, if it's if it, if uh, if its behavior in terms of reloading, in terms of shooting, in terms of bullet drop and all that are identical to Battlefield 3, then it'll probably be my primary gun of choice, at least at the start. Uh, but the SRR-61, because I'm that kind of person that likes taking the best thing added with my skills and absolutely crushing everyone, that would be my gun of choice as well. Uh, the SRR-61... Uh, but but my biggest fear is the S because there is supposed to be that 50 cal in Battlefield that you're supposed to pick up in that level. Sp it, it, it's it, it's it's available in a certain area in the level. The first one to it gets to pick it up. You can't replenish its ammo, but hey, it's a one-shot 50 caliber sniper rifle. I'm worried that the SRR 61 will be that because I don't see anything else listed as a 50 cal here. Uh, and the SRR-61 has full damage, full accuracy, and full range. Nothing else ha comes anywhere close to it in terms of filling up the ch this charts entirely. The M90P is the next closest. Another change with the M98B is the magazine size is now 10 instead of 6. So that's a noticeable difference. Um, the range of the SV-98 is not very much. The M4A5's range is about the same. Uh, it fires a 7.62 NATO. The JNG90 is about the same, 7.62 round, 
10 round magazine size. Its range isn't much either. Uh, now, to talk about the optics quickly. Looking at the optics, uh, they do have a 50, they have, do have a 40 times ballistic scope, which will be fantastic for long range sniping, as you might expect. They have a hunter with a 20 times magnification. They don't have a 12, which I was sort of disappointed about because I was so used to the 12. But they do have an 8, so I, I figure my the 8 times scope will be my primary go-to, uh, and maybe up to 20, depending. But I'd like to get a feel for how big the maps are. The range of the enemies that I'm going to be facing, the bullet drop, it will come to me in time and that'll probably give me my best estimate of the scope that works best for me considering. But the 8 will probably be my start. Now the accessories, uh, they have all sorts of laser sights. What I do like, the 2 though, are obviously the range finder which will come in nice handy if you're shooting long range sniping. Uh, and the other thing is the variable zoom, it gives you up to 14 times variable zoom like to actually I guess zoom in further on your targets if you're in a range where you could use the zoom would be pr presumed the reason why and that, that sounds absolutely fantastic to me so the variable zoom and the range finder are pretty much probably going to be the two I use the most laser sight if I'm aggressive reconning but we'll see about that when the time comes they have the, the they have all sorts of different barrels too they have muzzle brakes suppressors compensators like the compensator here decreased recoil at the expense of decreased accuracy uh, they have a heavy barrel, as you might expect. Recoil is a bit harder to control, but you have much more damage and range. And all sorts of suppressors. They have under barrels as well. Uh, the, my favorite, at least from the looks of it, is the potato grip. Because a lot of them won't really apply uh, unless you're using a different type of gun. Like the, the ergo grip here is reduces the accuracy penalty when moving. But it, as if you're playing the type of aggressive or the ag type of recon that I did in Battlefield 3, you won't really be moving much, so you don't need it. Uh, the potato grip, though, ha uh, is uh, gives you better accuracy when you're coming out of a sprint, which would be nice if you're relocating. But that's a quick breakdown of them. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. And I'll talk more about Battlefield 4 Recon if you want. See you later.